Hello craft friends, it's Michelle. Okay, so I had quite success when I sold the kit from my other mini album and I sold the blank shell as but I sold a kit with the paper and everything. And I had a few requests to say that um, you know, people want to do their own paper, not to do it as a kit, but just to sell the blank shells of the mini albums. So I actually had that idea pondering around in my head probably for the past I, it could be a year now and I just I'm gonna put it into play now so I think when I do a mini I will try it's not it might not be every time but I will try to build a blank shell so you can either purchase the mini already done and for those those of you that just love to cre uh, create but just are afraid to make these or can't or plain old don't like it because that's the boring part of it. I will be offering these for sale. I probably try to sell them on YouTube as I do a thing, but then I'll probably be putting them in my Etsy and I'll let you know and show you when I create them. But this particular one is, and I had requests that um, people wanted to see it done. So I have to build and do my mini first before I can show you. So um, this is the blank canvas the skull we should say the shell whatever you want to call it the bare bones undecorated it's just the mini album built as all you have to do is choose your paper collection because this one's just going to be the shell i'm not putting it in as a kit and decorate it to however you want put your decorative paper on top on your spine add your ribbons your embellishments it opens right now it lays flat but once you embellish it it's gonna be looking like mine over there so basically we have the blank mini album exactly like this one I'll show you the completed one because if you didn't see my previous video that I have up of this mini album called tales of us and it is in my Etsy store it's right here and this is what this looks like completed. Ta-da! I'll do a quick flip through to show you. All these flip up. And I'm just going to do a quick flip through because if you really want to see it, go to my video on this album, which will be called Prima Tales of Us Mini Album. go so now you can see it how it looks all decorated and you can pause the video and look if you're gonna put this together what did I do knock that off of something all right so here's the blank shell this is what you're going to get this album measures the cover measures seven by eight the spine is three and a quarter wide and it has it's made out of very good quality chipboard I don't everything I use I use good quality glues good quality um, chipboard everything the glues that I recommend and when I attach these pages I use score tape I align every around every edge of my mini albums with score tape to ensure that they're not going to peel up over time and then the centers I'd use fabric tack and for intricate work and beading I use this these are the finest and they're expensive glues you can use all right so on this shell you're going to see my you know when I have inky gluey hands you're gonna see that on here because this is the shell okay it's like if you're if you're drywalling a house you're gonna see all the crud in the in the stuff because you trim it out and paint it okay so yeah know that they're not defects they're this is what happens that's why we cover it up with all the pretty paper so all the magnets are in this the magnets are taped down this one does not have a magnet because in my other one I put a brad and used one of those little closures just because I had too many magnets going on it was sticking my pages so um, this pulls out I will include the little frame 
that's a die cut that you can glue on top of this after you've decorated it so the frames will be included which you can see there if you choose to use it that's fine if you have a different one that's fine too but I will include it so that pulls out you could tuck a picture in there flips up this flips out I have tape on my magnets just leave it there don't rip it off just put your adhesive right over that these pockets are all cut out um, and this feels very thin now because it's not layered with the paper once you start layering your paper then you're they get thick and hard and then your photos even make it more so yeah the, you're getting the shell so you must know that this is cut out too as well so you can put one of those frames over it and the, it has an opening here that you can slide your photo right in between there so it's going to look very nice and neat you don't have to do no fussy cutting then this is a blank page right here the magnets are and the other mates to the magnets are well inside I'm leaving that there so you kind of know where it is to pull then this opens this way this waterfall is not attached yet because you have to lay down your paper I do have the tape as you can see how I line all my borders what you're going to do is you're gonna lay your pretty paper down here and then you're gonna peel this off and you're gonna put your glue choice I'm not telling you you have to use this and you don't have to use glue if you don't want to but I like to be extra cautious and I sprinkle this glue in the middle and then you lay it down I actually drew the corners for you but you're gonna cover that up so just know center it with your eyeballs glue it down and then that magnet's gonna hold it in place see and then there's this page all blank just like I have on the other page I mean on the other book that's already done these double lined pockets these inserts will be included and know that they're you know they're just cardstock now you gotta put your stuff on them so these will be on the inside of all these pages and you can choose to use them or not use them but you decorate those with paper too so those will be included and you can add something on the end lace or something to make it pull out easy whatever you want uh, did I show you this? Here's the gate fold. Now this page, there's no magnet here because it's got, it, it kind of, when you're tucking all this stuff in here, it wasn't going to work and you have to have two and it just, so what my recommendation is, is you take two pieces of, a piece of your ribbon and you glue it down first, then you glue your pa decorative paper on top of it and then you tie it. But you do what you want. You can do one of those brad things, so... And then here's this page. These open up. Blank surface. Close back up. Uh, this opens this way. Has two more there. This has a pocket. And of course we put the inside. Here's the envelope style pocket. You can see how I had decorated mine. There's another pocket down there. And then these flip up for photos pocket here side pocket and there you go okay now for the inside envelopes like I have photo mats in my pockets I'm not including the photo mats in there because I don't know what collection you're gonna use and usually they have you know what collection you use or you cut out your own paper and then I guess you know what I will go ahead and include how I did mine if you use it you use it if you don't it'll just be the blank pages so you get an idea just, it won't take me long to so it will be included but know that you don't have to use it like that okay so there is the blank it's very good quality you're gonna see my seam here um, and here but that gets covered up with your paper. You have to have seams because I have to attach the paper. There's no paper that's this long to be able to wrap this book. So, um, yeah, you're going to cover with decorative paper. So there you go. This is for sale. Um, I am asking $50 for this. And that will include, that does not include shipping. I'm sorry. So for this shell, it's $50. Um, and I'll have to let you know what the shipping is because I'll have to weigh it and it depends on where you are. But 
no this is not embellished this is not it's so it's not as heavy as a normal mini album and it's very sturdy so shipping should not be much on this because I can just bubble wrap this and wrap it and wrap and it'll get to you just fine um, so know that you know we'll go over shipping I'm shipping will not be more than a medium flat rate box 11.95 so it'll be anywhere between um between five and twelve dollars for shipping so but i want i'm asking fifty dollars for this and you can create it however you want and it's very good quality good best products and everything so if you are interested in this leave me a uh, email send me an email I will have my email in the description box below if you are interested in purchasing the completed decorated one um, this will be for sale in my Etsy store and um, let me know what you guys like give me your feedback if you want this one's gonna be a little more pricey because I spent a lot of time um, doing all these intricate die cuttings you know if I I will also take custom orders send me an email if you would like a shell built for you a blank one or a mini album I do custom mini albums too decorated um, you know the price is gonna go up the more intricate and detailed and the more tape and magnets that I have to use so I want $50 for this blank shell which I still think is a, a, an incredible deal because basically you're paying for the supplies that I used to do this, the tape, the magnets, the papers, and the chipboard. So send me um, an email. My um, Etsy shop is Pretty Paper Maker on Etsy. If you want to go there and check out my creations and things I have for sale. And my email is in the description. It's Manda, M-A-N-D-A, 5312 at yahoo.com. Thanks, everybody. And let me know your feedback on... You know, if you guys want to see more, if you're interested in purchasing more of these shells, because I'll get cranking some more out. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.